I hope everyone's having a great day. We just started coming back to church last week as a congregation. We'd been doing virtual services, but uh, they're really just not the same. We'd do a couple songs and we'd have a sermon, but there's nothing like being able to come into a church and to fellowship. And as I think about this, I look back on the pandemic and on the effects that it's had and on the way that government has handled it. And I really believe that, uh, you know, the devil's got his hands in this thing. For example, think of all the cancellations we've had recently. We've canceled Mr. Potato Head, Pepe Le Pew, we've canceled uh, Gina Carano, Mumford and Sons, and that's just a, a very, very short list of the cancellations of people and ideas that we've seen since the uh, new administration came into being. This is very concerning to me because I really don't think the devil's interested in canceling Mr. Potato Head, and I don't think the devil's all that interested in Mumford and Sons or Gina Carano. But what the devil is interested in is stopping the word of God from going out. The devil is very interested in making sure that we as Christians do not grow, that we do not evangelize, and that we do not bring any souls uh, to Christ. And that's really the devil's goal. And so all of these other things are just a means to an end. All they do is uh, provide the devil an outlet and a way, and he's been trying these same tricks forever. But uh, the canceling of all of these different celebrities and cartoon characters and toys means nothing to the devil. What it is is the main goal is to one day cancel the Bible and cancel Christianity as a concept. Well, the idea behind uh, getting rid of Mr. Potato Head is getting rid of genders, getting rid of the patriarchy, and getting rid of uh, society as we understand and know it, a society that was based on Judeo-Christian values. And so I'm really concerned that uh, the end game is in sight, that very soon the left will become bold enough to actually say that they're going to cancel Jesus, they're going to cancel the Bible, and they're going to cancel church once and for all. They've been able to stop churches from opening, they've been able to stop churches from congregating, and they've been pretty successful at this, but that doesn't completely stop everything. The problem becomes when, uh, when the Word of God becomes taboo, when it can't be sold, when it can't be sold in Amazon, when it can't be sold in Walmart, where people can't even get their hands on a Bible because all of a sudden it's one of the banned books, very much like Dr. Seuss or Mark Twain or many of the other books that have been banned. And so that's my thoughts on the cancellations. That's my thought on the cancel culture. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you in a while.